What's going on everybody, Scott here. And if you follow me on Twitter, then you probably have seen me complaining about TF2 the last couple weeks. My game literally wouldn't start. Initially I was having a game UI error that would crash the game as soon as I launched it, and then I ended up getting a replay.dll error. Now after two separate Steam support tickets, a plethora of internet research, I still had nothing. Nothing online was able to help, Steam support wasn't able to help, but luckily I was tinkering around with my computer a bit and I got my game to work again, which is the reason for the video. I hope this gets out there. If you're having this issue, this video will help because it was extremely frustrating. I was actually on the verge of making a video saying I was never playing TF2 again. I was just done with the game completely because it literally would not launch. Now with the game UI error, I noticed it started to happen like a week or so after I updated my NVIDIA drivers. Uh, so I ended up just rolling back drivers and boom, the game worked again. Now I let it work for two weeks and then when another updated NVIDIA driver came out, I would update to that and then I ended up getting a replay.dll error. Even if I rolled back the drivers to the original one that I rolled it back to, it would no longer work. I sent Steam support another ticket. Uh, they were telling me to like verify my cache, which is, it's usually what will fix anything wrong with your game, but it's also kind of a meme because whenever you're searching for help, people will just say verify your cache and that doesn't always do it. I read to delete the bin, reinstall TF2, reinstall Steam, sell my soul at the crossroads. There were so many different things online but nothing fixed the issue. So right when I was getting ready to delete my game and completely just stop TF2 forever, after the second Steam support it gave me the same information, uh, I was thinking about what display actually meant and I started tinkering and eventually, if I would turn off my NVIDIA Shadow Play overlay, the game would work perfectly fine. So I don't know, I don't know if it'll continue to work in the future, but I do hope that this video helps somebody because it is extremely frustrating and nobody should go through it. And uh, keep in mind, I am not Steam support, I am not a licensed service technician or anything like that. So do all types of repairs at your own risk. So hit the like button if it helped and uh, I'll go back to making TF2 content now because a lot of people are mad at me. I, I literally just couldn't make my game work. So thanks for watching guys, till next time, peace.